Hey guys, it's us again. Wanted to do a little video update again this time. And uh, Brittany had some things, especially on her heart, she wanted to share. So I'll let you start, babe. Uh, we just wanted to share um, just how thankful we are for each of you. Um, for all the cards have been amazing. I'm, I'm still reading them a little bit each day, uh, working through my, my big stack. Um, the, the, the videos that you send, um, the texts that you send that might take me a little while to read or I might just harp um, on some days when I'm a little overwhelmed with everything. Um, those, those just mean the world. Um, and they're what part of what's helping get through this tough situation. Um, and we just want you to know, like, don't underestimate how God's working through each of you um, to bless us on this journey. Um, we're just so thankful for you. And uh, my personal prayer is just that God would continue to strengthen me um, and, and work through the situation. I know that all things work together for the good to those who love him. And I know he has a plan through this. And um, I just pray that um, somebody would see the light of Jesus through it um, and through me and through our family um, and through this tough situation. So uh, just thank you guys. Um, and in the days coming, I, I look forward to sharing more um, of what this journey of having a stroke has been like, um, just the different feelings and uh, literal feelings and <laughs> emotional feelings um, and what it's been like and uh, just some things to share uh, what what it's been um, and how, how this has impacted our lives. So maybe down the road, it might help somebody else along the way. Yeah. Well said, baby. Um, and just kind of some of y'all are probably wondering uh, how our trip to the Cleveland Clinic went. It was amazing. It was an answer to prayer. Some of y'all know uh, we did get in a while back um, early on, but not till, we weren't going to go till March. And then the Lord just really arranged through a, a godly doctor friend that uh, we got to get in not only quick, uh, January 5th this week, um, you know, a week after we basically got out of the hospital, but also with the director of the center at the Cleveland Clinic of the kind of issues we're concerned that Brittany had. And uh, he was just really great uh, doctor, just very thorough, a uh, great listener, um, really just, you know, complimented all the medical treatments we've had so far. Um, but Brittany probably does have a pretty rare thing called fibromuscular dysplasia. And so he kind of did real good showing us some of the pictures and explaining that. Uh, but then also just kind of talking about the long-term plan to it and saying that, yeah, these things sometimes pop up and there's there's no reason, you know, it's spontaneous that these arteries start uh, peeling and um, aneurysing and blocking. And then um, even the unknown stuff, like with her stroke, there's still questions to all, you know, why did this all happen? Uh, but he says sometimes it happens in clusters in a short period of time and then you're done. And so that's kind of our prayer that this all happened in a short period of time and we're done. Um, and it's and that the body heals itself. God, God's healing hand is on her and um, that the procedures that have been done so far help and that the brain heals. But uh, he does want to do um, a uh, another test, uh, kind of a, with a catheter, stick something through the wrist and squirt stuff all the way up in the brain, different parts of the brain, take lots of pictures of her brain and, uh, and all the arteries since the stroke. And so we'll do that. We'll actually go back to the Cleveland Clinic on Monday and, um, and then have that test on Tuesday and probably come back either Tuesday or, or Wednesday morning uh, from that test. And, but he wanted us also to have a lot of other uh, doctors, see a lot of other experts. Um, some of it's just hard to find um, around here as easily. And uh, so it was just a God thing. We were uh, actually on Friday getting ready to leave um, the Cleveland Clinic and trying to line up some of these appointments he had. Uh, wanted us to take and we're in Panera eating and suddenly one of those appointments popped up like we could go in 45 minutes and do it and so we're like all right so we went and saw a genetic counselor and already went through uh, you know 15 20 percent of situations like Brittany's have a genetic reason for it and so we were able to see a genetic counselor right away 45 minutes later after right after lunch and uh, so that was a blessing and got that process started and we'll go back uh, to the Cleveland Clinic uh, not just this next week, but in a, again in another month. And we'll see at least three or four more doctors and have some more tests. Basically, they'll scan her from head to toe. Um, her, her blood vessels, her arteries, for some reason, are fragile and probably fibromuscular dysplasia. And um, uh, so they just want to check all of them really thoroughly. Um, and it's the kind of thing we'll go back probably at least once a year 
but initially we need to go up and do a lot of tests uh, this year. Uh, so we'll go back at the beginning of February for that and maybe a few more exams here and there. But we're just really thankful. Big answer to y'all's prayers. Uh, safe travel. Uh, Got to see snow. Uh, Brittany did good in the, in the road trip, all things considered. Uh, Columbus, Ohio, rush hour was both ways. was a little hard, but she did good. Mm -hmm. And so we're just thankful for safe travels and appreciate prayers for safe travels this next week, for the, the testing this next week at the Cleveland Clinic, just to be, again, real thorough. If there's something that's serious that needs to be seen, that he sees it, uh, maybe he can get to the bottom of why she had the hemorrhagic, the blood brain bleed stroke. Um, but also we just pray for great news that things are healing up. And um, so that's our hope and prayer. And so again, we wanted to update you on that and we'll try to keep you updated as things go along. So, anything Thank else you guys so much for your prayers. We, we feel peaceful through this journey, even though some days are a little rocky, um, but, but God's been good to us and we're so thankful for it. We're thankful for each of you. Love you guys. Love you